Okay guys, it is a Thursday afternoon. We're here at the 40 Acres, the tiny home community, and it is beautiful out here. We've got Jace on the skid steer. That's what you hear, the beeping. He's doing some dirt work, and we got the painters here. This is their second day here. They're getting all the exterior all prepped, and we're just checking in on them. We're hopefully gonna have an episode next week when we have a little more progression, just not enough progression today to show y'all based off what our last episode showed. So I wanna talk to y'all today about all the houses that my wife and I have owned and why we've been on this plan to where we, we pretty much purchase a home and we sell it after about two years. Make me work, make me sweat inside. Like I'm alive. Take this hurt, lady, throw it in my face. Don't let these bones slow you down. Cause I'm coming on strong. Grass should I look greener? I need a true believer in the skies. Yeah, As I was saying before, I didn't really know a lot about real estate. I'm still really young. Like I said, didn't have a lot of money, just come out of college, getting started working, trying to save up, and getting our first home was gonna be a good investment. Little did we know that we were entering the, the 2008 financial crisis. There was lots of things starting to brew. There was talks of foreclosure starting to happen. And so we wanted to be really careful. We didn't know exactly what was gonna happen, but we knew we wanted to purchase a house instead of renting. So we purchased that house in McKinney. We paid about 160 for it. And we lived there, I guess about two and a half, three years. and. As we were living there, I started doing more and more research and learning more about real estate. And there was something that was very intriguing to me. In the tax code, there's a law or a code, whatever you call it, that allows for you to have your homestead, your primary residence. And as long as you live there for two years and it's your, your homestead you've used as your primary residence, you can sell that house and whatever your profit is, you're um, free and clear. There's, there's no income taxes that you, you have to pay on that profit. And so, we wanted to, to take advantage of that because we were getting into the workforce, coming out of college, both working and um, making money and paying a lot in taxes. And we thought, man, this is a cool way to make some money and not have to pay any income taxes. So um, let's jump on this bandwagon, let's sell this house and see if we can make a little bit of money and it'd be tax free. And so I think we ended up listing that house in 2010. We had kind of made a decision that we wanted to move back to Denison. We had found a, another house here in Denison, which we'll, we'll talk about here in a second. We thought, man, Let's go ahead and sell this house and uh, we can purchase this new house and it can be our, our next two year plan. And so we decided to list the house. I think it was like the end of 2009, uh, beginning of 2010. We listed it. Again, we were on the backside of the 08 financial crisis. We had the housing market meltdown, all that. And <clears throat> luckily we were in North Texas, being McKinney, Texas. And that market wasn't really hit as hard as what maybe some of the other cities and some of the other states across the US. And so. Yeah, maybe we didn't see as much appreciation in the house that we could have if we had done it two years prior or two years after that. But we were able to sell the house. We, we purchased for 160 and we were able to sell it for 187. And this is in the midst of the, the financial crisis. So yeah, that's not a lot of money, but uh, we did make some money and it, it was tax free. And so we, we liked the concept of that. So we took that money and we parlayed it into our next house, which was 981 Lakewood. That was here in Denison. Um, I grew up here in Denison and um, me and Ashley had kind of made the decision that we wanted to move back and we found this house. It was a, a new construction that someone had started and I, I don't know what the, the financial situation was, but it went back to the bank. It was bank owned and I saw it. We loved the neighborhood. It set on a little bit more of an acre. Um, it was outside city limits. Just a beautiful, beautiful property. Really cool house. A three bedroom, two bath. Just perfect for Ashley and I. We were um, moving back and um, hoping to have kids in the next few years. So. It was a perfect little house for us. And so at the time, again, we were on the backside of the financial crisis and all the mortgage meltdown and all that stuff. So we got a really good deal on the house. Um, like I said, it was a new construction. It was probably about 60, 70% complete. Um, and we, we picked up the house at 981 Lakewood for uh, around 90,000. I think it was like high 80s, um, like 90,000. We went in there and probably put about 20, 25 into it. And we did like flooring and paint and finished out some trim. and. Um, did cabinets and tile and countertops, all that good stuff. So lived in there a little over two years and the market was starting to pick back up. This was probably 2012, 2013. And we ended up listing the house for like, I think 190. And we ended up selling it for like 87 grand, 187,000. So that was, a, that was a pretty big profit. I mean, that, that's more money than we had ever made in, in one, one transaction. At the time we had started purchasing other real estate for investment purposes, like some rental homes and some lots and stuff, but we really hadn't sold any of those or flipped any of those. So 
that was a that was a really cool transaction for us. We were very excited about that. So again, took that money, purchased our next house, which was at 2306 Loy Lake, also in Denison. I think we picked it up for around $40,000 and we probably put about 20 25 in it and we ended up living in that house for i think two and a half three years and we ended up picking up the house across the street um directly across the street was which was 2306 loy lake so we were living in 2306 loy lake and we purchased the house across the street which was 2319 loy lake so we jumped over there started working on it i think we paid like twenty thousand for it so we went over there, started working on it. I probably put about 40 grand into it. And we went ahead and moved into that house. But then the house we moved out of, the 2306, we used it as a rental, I think for about a year. And so rented that house out and those tenants moved out. And then we decided, hey, let's go ahead and sell that house. We, we had been in the home previously. It was our homestead. Um, like I said, I think we, we probably lived in it for close to like two and a half, three years, and then rented it for about a year. And so we sold that. I think we listed it. It was a really neat house. It had the, the main structure, which was a two one, and it had like a, a mother-in-law suite, like garage that had been converted into an apartment. So we had done really well renting it out for that, that year period. And so put it on the market. Um, I believe we end up selling it for like mid 150s, I think like 150, 155. And so our original acquisition price was the 40, put 20. So we we're about 60 into it. Sold it for about 155, so it did really well on it. And yes, we weren't in there for the the full consecutive two and a half, three years, or the, the total of four years that we owned it. But if you read the tax code, we'll look it up and give you all a description down below. But as long as you live there for at least two years, or you've lived there for three of the last five years, you can still take advantage of that that tax code that allows you to not pay income taxes on the profit. And so we still qualified for that. So once we sold it we were already living across the street in our 2319 Loy Lake house. So I said before, we picked it up for about 20. I think we put probably about 40 in it. So we were in it for about 60 and we ended up living there, I think for about two and a half years and turned around and I think, I think it sold for like low 160. So um, made a good little profit on it. And again, you kind of see the pattern here. We're, we're not in there for exactly two years, but I mean, we're, we're staying there for a little over two years and for sure less than three year period and just kind of continuing to flip these houses. And so at that point in time, it was, I believe it was like 2016, 2017, about the time we were selling that house. And we'd kind of gotten into new construction, um, building and, and selling those. And so we thought, man, let's, instead of doing these remodels, let's let's build our, our next home. This was the first new house that we had had, except for if you count that second house on Lakewood, it, it, it was a new house, but we had to go in and finish it. So I, I guess, yes, it, it was a new construction. We were the first people to live into it, but this was the first house that we were actually going to from the ground up build as a new construction. And it was 27, I think it was 27, 29 West Washington here in Denison. Um, we had acquired the land previously. We got it really, really cheap. I've, I've told you guys, y'all can check out some other videos, but we had a six acre track that we had picked up for just pennies on the dollar. I think we paid like six grand for this six acre track. And <clears throat> there was, four separate parcels made up of this six acres. So the parcel we built on, I think was like 1.75 acres. And so um, we didn't have to subdivide it at the time because we were just building our house and we had the, the total um, 1.75 acres as our yard. So built on it, that was our house on Washington. I believe when we built it, we, we were probably about 140, 150 into that house. And so once it was done, we went ahead and moved into it and we lived in the Washington house for about two and a half years. And we thought, man, let's let's do it again. Let's let's build another house and let's sell this, make our profit, get into the next house. So the house that we're currently in, our 1201 Brookside home, um, we started construction on it. And so once it was ready, we moved into it and our Washington house got put on the market. So at the time we built it for about, we'll call it 150. It's about what we built it for. And I think we ended up selling it for um, like 235 and so now today we are in our brookside house we've been there for about a year and a half now we built it for i think like 140 that's what we built it for um, in today's market uh, we've not sold it it's not on the market but it's probably worth about 220 to 240 i believe is what it's worth now we're kind of we're kind of in limbo right now because i want to sell that house make our profit and have it be tax free but we're doing really really well with airbnb and we love the house we're in right now we love the location and the dead end street it's on. It's just, it's a perfect, really, really cool house. And we think it's gonna do very well on Airbnb. And so instead of selling it and making those profits tax-free, I think we're gonna go ahead and keep it. 
and use it as an Airbnb property. And so once we move out of there, it's gonna be because we have finished our, our house here at the 40 acres. And it might be one of the last houses that we potentially flip because having the 40 acres here, um, we, we now have three kids. I mean, we're, we're getting tired of moving every two, three years. It's just a big to do to load up everything. And I feel like each house we accumulate more and more stuff. And so um, we're really kind of not wanting to have to do that again. So I think this place that we build here is really gonna be our forever home because we were kind of waiting for a property like this. We're really excited about having this property. So um, since 2007, we've continuously moved from house to house to house. Um, in between that two to three year period. And we've, we've made really good profits. And I mean, the, the main thing when you make a profit, in our opinion, our success has been, you make the money whenever um, you purchase. That, that's where you make the money, is buying the house really, really good price. And of course, we've been in an uptrend market for the last 10 years to where we've seen a lot of market appreciation too. So that's helped us a ton. That's been our success story with selling our, our homestead, our, our primary residence um, after two years. and making those profits and not having to pay income taxes. So each time we make that money, we're not having to pay the income tax. That's more money that we can invest into the next house or use those funds for other investments. So we've had a, a lot of other ways that we have financed our deals and have made money through flips and selling new construction. But by making that money and not having to pay taxes on it, it's, it's been huge to really help us with our success that we, we've had in our real estate business up to this point. So if you guys got any questions, leave some comments down below. I know that was a lot of addresses and a lot of numbers, but that's just kind of one way that we've made made really good money in real estate and have gotten away with not paying taxes, legally not paying taxes. Um, that That's the that's the rule. And again, I'll, I'll say it one more time. If, if you purchase the home, you live there for at least two years, it's your primary residence. If you're single, you can sell the house and make up to 250 grand and not pay taxes on that. But if you're married, I think you can make up to 500,000 and not pay income taxes on it. Um, we've taken full advantage of that and we've enjoyed it. If this is your first time tuning in um, to our, our channel, my name's Justin Briscoe. I'm a real estate investor. We do a lot of cool stuff here in Denison. Um, we have lots of, lots of long-term rentals. We have short-term rental Airbnbs. Um, we have commercial properties, raw land, just lots of cool stuff. So you guys check out some of our other videos and kind of see what it is that we do here in real estate. And, um, maybe you can learn something or ask some questions and we can help out however, however we can. But yeah, uh, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and um, you guys let us know what you think. Peace. Peace. Like them and subscribe. Like them and subscribe them. Okay, say peace. 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 That's my man. Okay, Crawford. Let's get it. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Catch me howling at the moon